You're watching Football Daily, and this is our January transfer window roundup. Let's start with by far the biggest move of the window, with Pep Guardiola joining Manchester City. The Bayern boss had reportedly been in talks for a number of months after City earmarked their dream man back in July. Guardiola himself is currently earning around 250k in Germany, but can expect a 50% pay rise when he lands on English shores. This really is a stunning move for not just the citizens, but the Premier League as a whole. But a number of other sides must be worried about falling too far behind now. However, this is a risky strategy from the City board. Such an early announcement could easily scupper Manuel Pellegrini's title push this season. Despite this, we're giving City four stars for the window. A great managerial decision, but they needed a centre-back and some forward reinforcements with company seemingly made of glass. Their biggest rivals for the title remain Arsenal, who brought in just the one player this January. Mohamed Elneny joined Wenger's side with fans crying out for more midfielders after a series of injuries. However, Arsenal fans will still be concerned that they should have gone all guns blazing and really pushed the boat out in order to cement their first legitimate title challenge in years. We're giving Mr Wenger three stars for signing a solid squad player, but think he could have pushed a tad harder in search of a centre-back and a striker. The most shocking title challenger could well be Leicester, who actually did some smart business, but again, not enough of it, in January. Claudio Ranieri brought in the extremely highly rated winger Damari Gray from Birmingham, after activating his £3.7 million buyout clause. The Tinker Man also dipped his hand in his pocket to sign Daniel Amati for £5 million, a versatile midfielder who can also play as a central defender. But the Foxes are such a strong unit, and it can be argued that too many new faces would have disrupted the cohesion. These signings create much greater depth, so the Tinker Man gets three and a half stars. Manchester United fans will be hoping to push Leicester all the way for that fourth spot, but had an absolute mare in the January window. The teetering Louis van Gaal, who took another stride forward on his already wobbly plank, only recalled Adnan Yanazai, whisper it, but even that was forced upon him by Thomas Tuchel. The Old Trafford side seemed to be in an absolute mess, and the situation will have only worsened with Pep City announcement, so they're taking home a massive zero stars. At the other end of the table, Newcastle made the biggest impact, splashing the cash left, right and centre. John Joe Shelby was McLaren's first signing for £12 million, and Andros Townsend quickly followed him through the door for the same amount. The additions of Henri Saive and Seydou Dumbia will surely add the required goals, but their biggest hole is still at the back, where Chancellor Mbemba hasn't had the impact many thought he would. So going forward and in midfield, Steve, you've done a cracking job. Probably enough to stay up, in fact but the abyss at the back hasn't been plugged, so we're giving you four stars. Climbing back up the table, and Bournemouth continued their smart business of the summer, signing Benica Fobi, Lewis Graben, and Juanit Herbe. Eddie Howe clearly isn't afraid to splash the cash and has been given the backing of the board due to the monster jump in TV money next season, should they stay up. A Fobi has already started well, and barring any more major injuries looks a brilliant acquisition. Juanit Herbe's loan move cuts the risk and could pay off massively, and Graben knows the club, having scored over 30 goals for them in the past. Eddie, we're actually going to give you four stars. Watford also had a remarkably good window, signing the extremely talented Mario Suarez, young star Adalberto Peñaranda, and solid Abdoulaye Ducure. Peñaranda will remain on loan at Granada until the end of the season, but is renowned as one of the hottest prospects in La Liga, and the fact the Hornets have signed him is a real coup. Mario Suarez should add the class and intelligence in midfield, and Ducure will only add to Kike Sanchez Flores' solid defence. We're giving you five stars, Watford. The final English side who had a strong window was Stoke, as sparky Mark Hughes lit deadline day alight with the signing of Ambula. The 23-year-old defensive midfielder was one of Europe's hottest prospects at Marseille, before struggling for fitness and game time at Porto behind the supremely talented Ruben Neves. Nevertheless, at £18.3 million, this signing is a massive signal of intent from the Potters and really does show how far they've come as a club in recent years. Stoke, this is such a strong move. You're getting four stars and it would have been five if you'd added a quality finisher. Over in Spain and the struggling Gary Neville did his level best to sign players who could help him find his first ever La Liga win. Denis Cheryshev joined the club from Real Madrid on loan to add width and pace, whilst the signing of Guillerme Sequeira should add some solidity to Neville's back line. However, 
whether the reinforcements are enough to push for a Copa del Rey final spot and a La Liga turnaround remain to be seen. Not a bad effort though, Ginevs. Three stars. Two clubs that many were excited about in January were Atletico and Real Madrid, following their transfer bans. However, with the bans temporarily suspended pending an appeal, Zinedine Zidane opted to risk it and not to bring any new faces in. Diego Simeone wasn't willing to take the punt of an appeal board though, and moved to sign Augusto Fernandez to bolster his central defensive options. This didn't pay off though, as the Argentine has already suffered a knee ligament injury. He also attempted to bring Diego Costa back to the club, but found Chelsea unwilling to do business, so made a late move for Radamel Falcao, which also didn't come off. Not great windows for either Madrid side, and a massive risk taken by Zizou especially, so I'm sorry, but it's two stars for Atleti and zero for Real. In Italy, business was booming though, as Roma had a massive turnaround of players, specifically in forward areas. Luciano Spalletti let Iturbe, Dumbia and Jovino leave the club, and replaced them with Diego Perotti and Stefano Chirawi. A big risk, but one that he will hope can catalyse the squad to push for a Champions League spot. Roma, your risks impress us, so we're giving you three and a half stars. Finally, the strangest transfer of the window happened over in France. Like an Englishman who has no clue about the French league playing football manager, Marseille boss Michel signed Stephen Fletcher from Sunderland. Yet we know they're short of strikers, but come on, Fletcher? Really? But who do you guys at home think has been the best transfer of this January window? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see all of the funniest reaction from the internet to Pep Guardiola's appointment, click right here for yesterday's video. And as ever, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.